Tesla's Q4 deliveries are out, and what we're going to cover today is what we think Tesla stock may do in the coming week based on this news combined with the rumor of the 100,000 reservations for Model Y with the new price drop in Shanghai. My name is Anthony Piacibono and on this channel I post educational stock and personal finance content while also sharing my own personal portfolio and all the trades I make. Please take two seconds to smash the thumbs up button. I really appreciate it and subscribe for more videos just like this and let's dive right into the video. 180,000 deliveries, 179,000 produced. What this means is this is going to be a highly profitable quarter but the question is what's going to happen in the coming days based on this news due to the fact that deliveries end off the year at 499,550. Noting that there is room for some error and they could be just over 500,000, but based on this number, I personally believe that there will be a lot of people who believed that Tesla had crushed 500,000 and beyond. Even though this is an absolute fantastic piece of news and an incredible feat to have achieved of 500,000 deliveries in a wild year with the situation that's going on with COVID. They produce well over 500,000, but for the simple fact that expectations could have baked in 500,000 or beyond and 190 to 200,000 deliveries based on some bulls like Dan Ives, from Wedbush Securities, what we could see is a potential sell-off on Monday. Now, before we jump to conclusions and say that there is gonna be a sell-off on Monday in the coming days, there's another piece of news we have to take into consideration. Tesla, as they just started to build up production of the Model Y in Shanghai, they dropped the pricing of the Model Y down to 51,000 US for the long range and 56,000 US for the performance version. And this is a massive drop because before this, the long range was around 70,000 and the performance was listed at 80,000. So that kind of drop actually put this price of the Model Y below Neo's SUV. So this becomes now competitive with Neo in terms of pricing and performance is actually better than Neo's. The rumor is that within 10 hours, there has been 100,000 orders based on the new pricing in Shanghai. The question now becomes, what are people going to invest or trade off of in the short term? Are they going to be more bullish based on this massive increase in demand, this new unlock? Or are they gonna be more bearish because Tesla just barely did not reach their own target of 500,000 deliveries in the year of 2020? In my personal opinion as an investor, obviously this holds way more weight because what this does is this shows that Tesla continues to dominate in China for the coming year based on this new bump in demand, as well as their pricing being more competitive with NIO. A lot of people think that NIO is going to overtake Tesla in China and Tesla sales will decline rapidly over time. This puts a new statement into the Tesla story and more confidence in Tesla's success for 2021. So as an investor, I and other investors are far more excited by the 100,000 orders in 10 hours than they are with the potential deflating mood of 499,500 deliveries in the year of 2020 where they didn't surpass their own target of 500,000. The next question is, is there more money going into the stock in the near term for trading or for institutions? And if more money is going from institutions, then more institutional investors are going to be putting money into the company because that just solidified the Tesla China story. There was a lot of doubt, a lot of analysts and a lot of people were doubting that Tesla would be able to succeed in China in the long term. And this solidifies Tesla's confidence of success for the year 2021 with this order. However, it's technically still a rumor as of right now, so that becomes a question. What holds more weight, this rumor and this price drop or falling short of 500,000 deliveries? We've had a massive rally ever since November 16th and it hasn't slowed down since that day. As you can see, $400 a share, all the way up to $700 a share in a span of a month and a half. Within six weeks, we saw $300 get added to Tesla stock based on the S&P 500 inclusion, changing the whole outlook for the company. I would expect to sell off down to the around 660 and see some healthy consolidation around the mid 600s before we continue higher going into earnings. Earnings are actually February 2nd has been announced. So I would expect another rally. I would expect consolidation around mid 600s and then a week before earnings, 
another rally up into 700, potentially 750, $800 a share. Don't take this as gospel. I am only looking at this based on the fact that there is more positive catalysts coming up. We have full self-driving subscription that is going to be released in early 2021, as Elon stated, and we have more catalysts such as full self-driving being released to everyone, not just the beta members. Not to mention Model S and Model X factory is shut down until I believe January 11th, and it could be due to a refresh. I am personally getting my own Model S performance delivered to me late February to late March. I got an update on my order saying that I'm, I can expect delivery between February 20th and March 20th. Initially, I was going to be receiving delivery at the end of December, December 18th to 31st. Since the shutdown came, I don't have a VIN number, so that my vehicle has not been created, and we could see some refreshes or updates to the Model S or the Model X. Who knows what it could be? Could be Chrome Delete, could be some other changes, could be something major. We don't know yet, but we're gonna be waiting and finding out. And if it is something major, you best believe that's another catalyst for the stock because that's going to update the demand that has been declining for Model S and Model X over the years as Model 3 and Model Y have come out. To summarize, I am expecting a sell-off down to about 660 and then I am expecting some consolidation there and that's very healthy for the stock. And then we can continue seeing a new run-up up into earnings around February 2nd, where we could see the stock come up to 700, 750, or potentially 800 at a peak. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and more portfolio updates, and I'll see you in the next one.